so interchange of two numbers or interchange of elements in a given list that is the swapping if j is not greater than j of plus 1 then it is going to skip the statement it goes to next iteration so 8 is greater than 7 it has to be passed or it has to be swapped that is the meaning of unordered Dear students, welcome to Computer Science Classes. I am Ravi Kumar Kiyar, lecturer in Computer Science, Vidyasham Payu College, Temple of Excellence, Mysore. Students, let us start our discussion with the chapter sorting. So in this session, let us talk about the sorting, introduction to sorting and bubble sort, a type of sort. Now let us see what is sorting, the definition of it. So what is sorting here? Sorting is the process of ordering or arranging a given collection of elements in some particular order. So this is a definition of sorting. So what is sorting? It is a process. It is a process of arrangement of a given element in particular order. If I say a particular order, it can be either ascending or descending order. So here we can sort a collection of numbers in ascending order, another name is in the increasing order or descending order, here another name is decreasing order. So if the collection of is of strings, we can sort in alphabetical order A to Z or Z to A. So this is the basic definition of sorting. So what is sorting? Sorting is a process or is a technique where the given elements or it is the arrangement of elements in a particular order, either ascending or descending order. So with respect to strings, we can arrange the list of strings either from A to Z or from Z to A. So this is the definition of sorting. Now let us see what are all different types of sorting with respect to programming concept. So one is bubble sort, insertion sort, selection sort, heap sort, quick sort, and merge sort. So these are all different types of sorting. But as per your syllabus, we are going to discuss only the first three types of sorting for you. So this is types of sorting. Now let us start. The first one is bubble sort. It is at one type of sorting. So what is bubble sort? See, it sorts a given list of elements by repeatedly comparing the adjacent elements and swapping them if they are in an order. So what is the meaning of the sentence here? This in bubble sorting, the technique here is, see we are going to compare the elements, we are going to repeatedly compare the elements, the adjacent elements, comparing the adjacent elements and we are swapping them if they are unordered, if they are not in the right place, so we have to swap it, this is one point. Now swapping of two elements means changing their position with each other. So what is the meaning of the word swapping? So interchange of two numbers or interchange of elements in a given list. That is the swapping. So in algorithm, every iteration through each element of a list is called a pass. See, obviously we are doing this program with the help of looping structures. So here we are using generally in for loop. So the for loop takes n minus 1 iteration. Suppose the length of a list is a n. So the any looping structure it takes n minus 1 repetition or n minus 1 pass. We say the word pass here. So if at all the length of a list is n, so each loop or it takes n minus 1 iteration to sort the given elements. So for a list with n elements, the bubble sort takes n minus 1 iteration or another word is pauses to sort the list. So it takes another word iteration or pauses. If there are n elements, so it takes n minus 1 iteration or pauses to sort the given list. In each pause, in each pause means in each iteration, the largest element is identified and each pause 
placed at the correct position in the list. At each and every pass, we are going to find out the largest element and this element, the largest element is going to place at the correct position in the given list. So this is an algorithm or procedure for bubble sort. So let me brief you once again. So bubble sort, it is a technique or a process. It is used to compare the adjacent elements and and it's going to swap the adjacent elements if they are unordered. So swapping means interchanging. And for this, the elements are the list of size n, it takes n minus one iteration. So another word we're using is it takes n minus one passes. And at every pass, at each and every pass in a for loop or in a looping structure, the largest element will be find out and it takes its correct position in the list. So this is the algorithm or a process to sort the element using bubble sort. Now let us take an example or let us analyze with the simple example now. So here let us consider the list having six elements. Here there are six elements. So here the size of the list is six. This is the given number list. 8, 7, 13, 1, minus 9, and 4. And this is the list. Name of the list is num list. And you know the index in a, in a list, the index starts with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here last index is 5, that is n minus 1, that is 6 minus 1 is 5. Now let us start analyzing with the technique of or process of bubble sort. So if you look at the first one here, so we say pass one means first iteration. When the loop takes the first iteration, these are the process. So here first one is eight and seven. Now we are going to compare these two because the technique is we are comparing the adjacent elements. So first element is eight and eight is and seven. We are going to compare these. So here, what is the meaning of unordered? We have seen in the previous slide unordered. So what is the meaning of unordered here? If you look at this here, so 8 is greater than 7, it has to be passed or it has to be swapped. That is the meaning of unordered. So in this example, 8 and 7 will be compared to adjacent elements and 8 is greater than 7, it has to be swapped. So in the next step, say 7 and we are going to interchange these values, 7 and 8. Then remaining elements are will be as it is. Now in the next step here, 8 and 13, here 13 is adjacent element. We are going to compare these two, 8 and 13, 8 is less than 13. So it understood that 13 or 8 in its right position or in or its correct position. So there is no question of changing or there is no question of swapping the elements. Now, so in the next step, it is 7, 8, 13 will be as it is. So after 13, next element is 1. We have to compare 13 and 1. And here 13 is greater than 1 or 1 is less than 13. So it has to be swapped here. So swapping must take place or we have to interchange the values of these two places. So here accordingly, the next step would be after interchanging 13 and 1, here 1 and 13 and rest of the elements will be as it is. Again in the next step, compare 13 and minus 9. As minus 9 is less than 13, it has to be swapped here. So the elements would be 7, 8, 1, minus 9 and 13. Then again 13 and 4, 4 is less than 13, it has to be swapped. So here, so 4 and 13 are interchanged, so 4 come to this position, 13 will be at this position. So that is one iteration. At the end of one iteration, the largest element in the given list will take its correct position. That is the one of the point what you have seen in the previous slide. So at each and every pass, the heavier largest element in this example 13, it takes its position. That is the definition of, or that is a technique of bubble sort. Now, after this, now we'll move on to next pass or next iteration or the loop stage, the next iteration. So at the end of this, at the end of pass one, no, no doubt that this is the list here. 13 comes to its last position. Now, 
Now let us start with the pass to or iteration to here 7 and 8, 7 is less than 8, there is no question of swapping here, it returns as it is 7, 8, 1, 9, minus 9, 4, 13. Next we have to compare 8 and 1, 1 is less than 8, it has to be swapped. So accordingly, so 1 and 8 are interchanged, so 1 come to this position, 8, minus 9, 4, 13, retains as it is. Next one is next step, 7, 1, 8 and minus 9 has to be compared. These two are adjacent elements. So here minus 9 is less than 8. So it has to be swapped or interchanged. Next after this we have 8 and 4. 4 is less than 8. It has to be swapped or interchanged. 4 come to this position. 8 will be in this position. So after this 8 and 13, 8 is less than 13, you need not to swap this. So if you observe the list here, at the end of second pass or second iteration, the second largest element in this list is 8 is the second largest element, it takes its position here. See this is the process of bubble sort, this is pass 2. Now in the next slide we will see what is the pass 3 or iteration 3. So note down at the end of pass 2, these are the elements in the given list. So in the pass 3, 7, 1, it has to be swapped. So it becomes 1 and 7. Other elements are as it is. There is no change in this list of other elements. Now 7 and 1, it has to be interchanged. Next 7 and minus 9, minus 9 it has to be interchanged, minus 9 and 7. Next one is 7 and 4, this is the element, here 4 has to be come to this position, these two numbers has to be swapped, so accordingly 4 and 7, 8 and 13, 4 and 7 here, 7 is less than 8, 18 less than 13, so there is no need to be swapped for rest of the iteration. So at the end of pass 3, so here the largest element 7 is it takes its right position that is end of pass 3. Next one is next one is next comparison after this next iteration that is pass 4 that is iteration 4. So here 1 and minus 9 it has to be interchanged and rest of the elements are in the same order need not to be swapped. Next after this see at the end of pass 4 or iteration 4 minus 9, 1, 4, 7, 8, 13. So this is the largest element of 4. It takes its position. Next again pass 5 that is iteration 5. So minus 9 and 1 and here and 4, 7, 8 here. Here these already minus 9 is less than when negative number need not to swap here. It retains the element of the list as it is. So at the end of pass 5, I mean if you observe the list, see minus 9, 1, 4, 7, 8 and 13. So elements are sorted in ascending order. So this is the technique or algorithm for the sorting of elements by using bubble sort. So if you observe this, the length of the list or size of the list is 6. We have seen in the beginning, there are 6 elements, means the size is 6. So it takes n minus 1, that is 6 minus 1 is 5. The bubble sort technique, it takes n minus 1, that is 5 iterations or 5 passes. So at the end of 5 passes, the elements are arranged in a definite order. In this example, it is arranged in an ascending order. So this is a technique of or a process of bubble sort. Now in the next slide, see this is the coding or the program we are implementation of bubble sort using Python. So this is, we are defining a function bubble sort. This is n is length of a list and here we are using a for loop and here for j in 0 to n minus 1, step is minus 1, here step is minus 1. See this is we are comparing the adjacent elements. So here list 1 of j is greater than list 1 of j plus 1. Here j is the index, j plus 1 is the next index. So this is where we are comparing the two adjacent elements or elements of in a given list. So if it is true means we have to interchange this. 
so here this is the steps for interchanging the values if the condition fails means if j is not greater than j of plus 1 then it is going to skip the statement it goes to next iteration so this is the logic where we are comparing the elements and interchange swapping takes place at this step so this is this function to implement a bubble sort in python programming now this is continuation so after this num list this number list we this is the bubble sort number this is the we are calling the function here so finally we are going to print with the help of this we are going to print the final list that is the sorted list so accordingly we'll get the output is this so if you look at the example here see this is the given list or this, these are the elements in a given list at the end of the bubble sort or after executing this function the result would be this so this is in this example the elements are arranged in definite order that is in ascending order so this is a program or a python code for bubble sort students say so far in this session I have explained about the sorting the definition and different types of sort and also we have discussed in detail about the bubble sort let us continue our discussion in my next session thank you very much